Hello there, YouTube. Mike Kaylee 7 here. As you can see, it's getting dark outside. Yeah, I have my sun visor up. I had to check. But is it really dark? Yes, it really is dark. On my way home from work, did a little bit of exercise out in the back lot. Trying to walk up and down, then I had to rub my leg for like 20 minutes just to get it to work again. Such is life with a broken leg. Or a formerly broken leg. I'd like to do a shout out to the Smyrna Cowboy and to Mrs. Cowboy. I saw your video. First ride for Mrs. Cowboy. That's awesome. I think, Dave, you were probably treating your wife a little bit too gingerly, in my opinion. I think she's way tougher than that. Well, as you can see, not really uh, doing a whole lot of interesting riding right now, unfortunately. But maybe you can enjoy the evening views and the slow ass mofo. End of day frustration, right? You just want to tear out. Clink, deer, dead. Um. So I discovered on the map today that there's a part of North Carolina 80 that runs north from the Blue Ridge Parkway. And initially it looks kind of boring, but then I noticed it's absolutely fantastic at one point. It's very, very speedy at one point, or not speedy, I'm very speedy. It's very twisty at one point, up by some uh, dark, overlook, dark viewing area, something. Observatory, dark observatory, something like that. So, uh, I'd like to get up there before the weather gets bad in the mountains, and I'd like to try... try out those twisties. Not on this though. It's too much to, to ride this thing out there. I'll take the gold wing and be more, you know, pragmatic about it. Although I, I would love to take this. But it's just not in the cards. Like four and a half to five hours of you know just straight highway riding to get there boring and painful so stay tuned I might do that this week or next week go up to the Blue Ridge Parkway again get to Marion go up uh, the Devil's Whip cross under the Blue Ridge and then continue north until I find those super duper twisties. If you look on the map, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty cool. God, I love this blip quick shift thing. It makes life so much easier.
of nice to, to ride in this low light like this. Kind of missed it. I used to do this all the time. Actually, I rode the pitch black for years. I don't think I could do that now. Somebody commented on, a, on one of my technical difficulties videos recently with the bad sound and they said that they don't think it was the wind noise. It was the noise inside the helmet from the wind hitting the helmet and underneath my chin because of the lower windshield. And I think he's right. I think that person is correct. It wasn't the wind hitting the microphone. It was just the microphone picking up all the dang noise inside my helmet. notice now at least when I, I replayed the video inside the camera from this morning's ride that I'm gonna edit together the wind wasn't bad I think it's just the way that lowered windshield makes the the wind terrible on my helmet just noisy 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 so just have to you know ride with the windshield up Keep you guys from hearing all that noise or just ride this all the time in the darkness I can see the blinking of that light and that it reminds me to turn it off so that's a good thing I'll take it all right it's Mike Kately 7 stay safe out there enjoy the fall while it's here talk to you later